Hey there and welcome to another Coffee with Column. Thanks very much for tuning in. If this is your first time joining me for a Coffee with Column session, well, uh, welcome to the island of Lanzarote where I'm recording this particular session. Uh, it's hard life. Anyway, uh, the idea behind the, uh, the series of Coffees with Column is where I take snippets from my book, Feeding Johnny How to Build a Business Despite the Roblox. It's even available on Kindle. Take snippets on a weekly basis and discuss the snippet and the lessons contained therein over a cup of coffee for about five minutes or so. If this is your first time coming to us and you enjoy what you hear and you think somebody else might benefit with them, please feel free to share it on privately or publicly. If uh, you want more of this type of stuff, you're not already on a database, well then uh, go to colinobrianmotivation.com, our homepage there, leave your details and we send you this type of stuff on a weekly basis. But in the meantime, sit back and relax and enjoy this snip of this coffee with column coming from, to you from the beautiful island of Lanzarote. The title of today's Coffee with Column is Helicopters Don't Glide. And it's taken from a snippet in my book. And it refers to a time when Robert Kiyosaki, the famous author, Robert Kiyosaki, author of the Rich Dad, Poor Dad series of books. Um, Robert wrote a series of books. The first one was called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The second one was called The Cash Flow Quadrant. And I'd recommend highly that you read both uh, and perhaps more of his books. But in the meantime, let me just talk to you about why helicopters don't glide and how important that was in my particular journey. Helicopters don't glide is a fact of life. If a helicopter engine fails, well, it doesn't glide, it simply falls. And uh, Kiyosaki, when he was a naval pilot back in the Vietnam War, one of his jobs was to uh, provide a helicopter gunship uh, cover for an aircraft carrier to create a perimeter around an aircraft carrier while the aircraft themselves took off. And one day when he and his co-pilot lifted off the carrier and were several hundred feet above the, uh, the ocean, uh, what happened? Only his engine died. Now, on the basis that helicopters don't glide, when your engine dies in a helicopter, you've got very little option. You're going to fall. So uh, his training, however, was completely counterintuitive. His training taught him to push the stick forward and therefore push the nose so that it began to face downwards so that he would in fact gather speed <laughs> as he plummeted towards the ocean. Now that's completely counterintuitive, I'm sure you'd agree with me on that. Uh, but the whole idea behind that is when you push the nose forward in a helicopter, it doesn't glide, but it will gather speed so that at the very last moment before you hit, the theory is you're supposed to pull back on the joystick and the, uh, the craft will level out somewhat and it gives you the very best opportunity to survive, believe it or not. So that's what Kiyosaki did. He didn't want to do it, for sure, <laughs> but he was trying to push the stick forward, which he did. The nose began to fall, the chopper began to fall, and just before it hit the ocean, he pulled the stick back with all his might. The craft leveled out and it plunged, plunged into the sea and, you know, whatever happened out thereafter. But himself and his co-pilot survived. Now, what's that got to do with business and my business journey and perhaps your business journey? Well, there are times in our business journeys when it's important that we push forward when we don't want to. And at the particular juncture that I'm speaking about in my book, Feeding Johnny, it's when the, the cafe was failing and we needed to do something. We knew it was going to fail. We knew that doing nothing was not an option. All of my intuition was to pull back and hold back and, you know, uh, bunker down and hunker down but in fact I knew the only way out really was to push forward and to keep push, pushing forward until we achieved breakthrough and that's exactly what I did and I'm delighted that I did so because uh, rolling on so many years thankfully we've got a, a very solid business in Carambola as a result of me pushing forward. The second element in this story about helicopters don't glide is where Kiyosaki talks about the four players in the world of business. There are employees, and self-employed, and business owners, and investors. And each of them are mutually exclusive in the world of business, but they're not mutually exclusive in terms of the fact that we can operate in any or all of them. I could be an employee, I could be self-employed at weekends at the same time, I could be an employee, self-employed at weekends at the same time, and perhaps invest in stocks and shares uh, in my spare time. So they're not mutually, mutually exclusive in terms of how we work within them but all four quadrants are different and they all have different rules and they've all got different ways of operating. And in another Coffee with Column, we'll talk about the cash flow quadrant and the importance of it. In the meantime, in this next week, if you're faced with a challenge, remember Kiyosaki and remember pushing forward might be the right thing to do. 
Well, I hope you got something from that particular Coffee with Callum, Helicopters Don't Glide. The whole idea here is to share with you some insights, some of elements of my journey, uh, so that in uh, me doing so, I can perhaps offer you a shortcut where back in the day I had none. So what I'd ask that you do is for the next week or so is apply what I've spoken about here today into your thinking and uh, do so for the next week or so. Apply it into your decision-making process and just see where it leads. If you think somebody else would benefit, well, then you know what to do. Feel free to pass it on privately or publicly publicly share the link. Uh, if you want to leave us a comment, again, you know what to do. Go to the bottom of the page and uh, leave us a comment there. And most importantly, then, come back next week for another Coffee with Colin. What likely won't be from the beautiful island of Lanzarote, uh, but it'll be good stuff for sure. In the meantime, go have a great week, get some great coffee, and enjoy. Love it. See you next week, same time.